Okay, here we are in part five of building your own custom WYSIWYG rich text editor in Flash Action Script 3. And I noticed mine was a little buggy because I was using a mouse click event and I was not listening for when the stage, uh, when the mouse was up on stage. So I added to the code, I added a few things here on my own and I'm going to explain them to you now. So if we open the code and we look at it and this source file will be available if you want uh, but first let's actually let's publish it out or render it and take a look at how it works now so you can see the way I made it was it's kind of tan when before the user clicks their mouse into the the box and when they click their mouse into the input field it turns white and then the edge it uh, animates like a pulsating blue. You can check it out. See that? It's beautiful. Letting them, letting them know that it's active and they're in there typing and yada yada. So now, what was happening before is if we selected the whole selection and we tried to bold it, it wasn't bolding correctly and it wouldn't toggle. So you see now it's toggling. Bolding and unbolding whatever's highlighted and I also added a format code button so now what's happening is the uh, the mouse is listening for the up state so on mouse up let me show you in the code before we were using a uh, a click so I added for the stage to sense this text selection function as well to make that fire off as well as the click function we had here remember but we changed that click to mouse up for the input field so when the mouse comes up on the input field after they drag so say this would be the time where that happens I drag and I unclick that means mouse up that's when that fires off so mouse up for the input field and mouse up for stage and mine was a little buggy before because when you would try to say you tried to grab this whole selection and maybe your cursor or your mouse was over here and you let go it wasn't firing off that function you have to listen for the stage event for the mouse up on the stage and not only the input field I guess you could just use stage if you wanted I don't know but I'm gonna use both it seems to work really solid now the way I want it and I also added a format code button since I'm gonna have this custom at my site I can make it any way I want so I'm not gonna give people the ability to size their text so when they say these two lines with their code right here they type in here is my code her is my code this was their code they format code booyah it turns it red makes it bigger so it distinguishes itself from the rest of the text as code and that's what I want I want a very simple rich text editor that I can just use for formatting things uh, to it just a certain level and I also added this uh, scroll bar here so if you keep pressing enter if you keep putting in a lot of data you see the scroll bar just automatically works and that's a component from the, the uh, components library UI scroll bar. And you just take it and you plop it right next to whatever you want to scroll, the text field you want to scroll, and then you set it in the properties here, the parameters to the input field that you want that to scroll. It's very easy to set that up. So when you drag it out the stage, you set it next to your input field or your dynamic text field, whatever you want to have a scroll on, and you just set the, the instance name for that field right there on the scroller in the parameters and so that works automatically like that it's really nice and uh, yep, that was all I added now let me show you right here is the function make the fields background change when focused so that cool effect that we had on the background right here the text input I just put a a custom background on it and it's a movie clip with an instance name of field BG so when 
the focus in on the field, when they focus in on the field, and this is a focus event, when they focus in on the field, this input field, it fires off this function. And inside the function we say field BG go to and stop to. Field BG is this little guy back here, right behind that text input. See, field BG, you double click inside of it, it's a movie clip. The first frame, it's that brown, tannish, unactive looking state. And on the second frame where it says, where that code was commanding go to and stop to, it's that blue, uh, the white, it has a white fill with a blue edge. And you'll see the blue edge is all by itself just a little movie clip, an edge. It's just a, a, uh, a border. There's no fill, and it's around that that white box. You see what it does? It animates, kind of pulsates. So that makes this effect when they put their mouse in there. See, turns white and then pulsates, and then their cursor's there. And you can also you can do something like this. Start typing. Actually, I don't know if that'll work because it's going to empty it out. Yeah. If you didn't empty it out at first using this line here, you could have something in there that says start typing here, and then when they start typing, it would turn out, you know. And what else should we tell you about? We also have the scroll bar that has no programming on it. It doesn't even have an instance name, and that was made active, like I showed you, just by going to the parameters. And the form format code button I just have to give that an over and a down state and that one will be like the others and uh, that has new format default for code and and format code when I format code I'd make it bigger and I make it red dark red and if they want to change it back to default it goes back to black and normal 12 and I set my text input field to 12 now. So everything runs a lot better on this thing and it's a lot more solid. There's no no bugs that I can find here. Um, in part 4 when we left off there were. Part 5 was the bug squisher. That's what I did. I squished all the bugs. I added things to make it solid. See? Toggles, format code, change the colors it, it it's really solid it's one of the best WYSIWYGs I've ever had the experience of using and it's all custom or maybe I'm just saying that because I made it but making something like this is uh, is no little feat especially I'm not referencing anybody else's code and I've never created anything like this from scratch I've, I've done in the JavaScript uh, WYSIWYG editor, but that's, you know, JavaScript. This is all Flash and ActionScript. So this one is uh, concluding part 5 where we added the format code, and so I showed you the default setting for the, or the format code and the default format code uh, values and attributes here. And then I just added another section for formatting the code just like we did the bolding and italicizing see bolding this one's italicizing this one's underlining this one this section formats the code the way I want it custom for, for our site and then the color picker is right down here okay so if I go to add anything else to this it will be documented on video and I'll lead you through what I've done to make it happen so like I said we switched from using click event like we were in the beginning to mouse up events and we added mouse up event for the stage just to make it work without bugs and solid and now it toggles the way it should so with toggling while it's selected we can just keep hitting that button and it will keep toggling it back and forth see that's what we wanted it's beautiful Okay, we'll see you in part six whenever I go to adding smileys or allowing uh, links to be put in and things like that. Okay, bye.